Hello, I'm Dr. Ron Eaglin. I'm going to use Smata Online today to do a distribution analysis. Uh, when you're in Smata Online, and I have not logged into Smata Online, uh, you go into the general routines, set, you take the statistics routines, and select distribution analysis. You may see other, other statistics routines here in the future. Um, we're going to look at distribution analysis right now. So you click on distribution analysis. Now, since I'm not logged in, uh, and I actually do, there are other distributions that have been made here. But I want to create a new distribution here, which is essentially just putting in univariate X data. I come to an easy screen that has the name, a selection of the dist different distribution methods that are available, in this case, the GEV or generalized extreme value, normal, log normal, three parameter log normal, and Gumbel distributions. Okay, to do a distribution fit, you have to have univariate or X, essentially X data, and you also have return period predictions which allows you to give a prediction for an exceedance probability. Now I'm going to come over here and I've got some rainfall data which is annual maximum volumes of rainfall for individual years that I've calculated here uh, running from 1940, all the way from 1942 up to 1993. Okay, I'm going to select that by hitting control C move that back over to here and paste it into my spreadsheet right there with the control V. If you notice, I've got a space missing right here. It, don't worry, if there's spaces, blanks there, it'll actually, the program will take those out. So here's my data that I have for those years for the annual maximum. All I have to do at this point is click calculate. Now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate this to a normal distribution. So I'm going to use a normal distribution first. I click calculate and I'm going to get the results here. The results will show you the first, second, and third moments, the skew, the distribution method, number of points, maximum and minimum. May add some statistics that you may see in the future, but uh, right now, that's what you see. Then you're going to see each of the data sorted from lowest to highest with the plotting position. Plotting position is calculated using the Weibull method, which I'm not going to cover in this video, but it's very easy to, to look up, the Weibull method. Okay, those plotting position are, are, are I'm going to use those to actually see a plot of this, and then I also have for different return periods, the associated exceedance probability and a prediction to go with those. One of the beauties here is that you can actually add new return periods and we'll do that in the next one, uh, the next calculation that I'll do. By plotting this, I can take a look at the cumulative plot that you have using both the distribution and the actual data. Now, since this is a normal distribution, if you were to take this and plot it a different way, you'll see the standard normal bell curve. But in this case, what we're doing is we're not looking at it that way. We're looking at it specifically in a cumulative plot because we're interested in this top area here to see how well my very high values fit. And in this case, not too well. So what I'm going to do is click Done. I'm going to go back and I'm going to click Edit. I'm going to do two things. One is, I'm going to choose the GEV distribution, which I think will be a better fit to this data, and I want another prediction here. I want the five-year return period. I go ahead, So I simply add that to my return period five. I can now click Calculate again. Okay. In this case, it's now the GEV distribution. The max and minimum and the different moments will stay the same. My plotting positions will all be there, but as I scroll to the bottom now, I can click Plot, and I can see that at the top level here, these numbers fit a little bit better. So I think that this is a much better distribution. Also note that the return period that I entered there, that five, did show up in this final area here called return periods. So you have the ability to look at this with any specific return period. That is the part that is all about using SMATA to do this. The actual methods and calculations associated with distribution analysis I am not going to cover with this lecture, but I do want you to be able to at least use the program, and have a general idea of how to take univariate data and fit it to a distribution. Thank you very much. That's all.